walk through. Everything's been pre vacked and that's it. Those are bleach stains. Color won't come out because the bleach already took the color out. Couple stains. I'm trying to remember if these are pet. Pet spots are in here. There's one right there. There. And right there. Oop, and there. Again, this is only vacuumed first. I just finished doing that. Next step is pre-treating it, scrubbing it with this CRB counter-rotating brush, then rinsing it out with a neutral rinse. Help bring the carpet back to a neutral pH as close as possible, which is 7. And that way, if there's anything in the carpet besides the pet spots over there, uh, such as the uh, stuff from the bleach, I can at least try and get the contamination out. course is the counter rotating brush you do it after vacuuming and pre-treating all of the carpet in this particular situation there isn't a whole lot so I am agitating it there's pets in the house so this is going to help get the remaining pet dander from deep down in the carpet up to the surface so that way when I vacuum I'll get more of it out than a typical standard vacuum would, but still, you always, always want to vacuum first so you can get as much of the loose soil and pet dander out 
prior to wetting it down, of course. And I'll show you why here in a second, as soon as I get this area. This right here is a pretty good sized canister. Filled it almost to the top in about 300 square feet of carpet. and neutralizing it out. See this area is one of the main traffic areas. It's right in front of a couch. I think their pet is mostly indoors. This pet dander was pretty much throughout the entire thing. Normally I would be lifting the wand off the carpet a little bit to clear the line but I am obviously using one hand for my video here and one for the other so I'm going to be shutting this off and doing that for all the dry strokes. Just wanted to show everybody how it comes out. See the carpet is a little loose. This carpet is getting a little old. And it's loosened up a bit. In order to get it back to normal, it requires a restretch. Okay, post walkthrough and raking 
of the carpet. Everything's shaped up really well. The yellowing from the pet stains that were right here came out, which is great. Now, nothing remains. So, and then just break the carpet. the appearance difference that the rake makes just setting the fibers the same direction so you don't see these darker areas which is just the way the carpet is laying as you can see if I pull back it's a slight difference in color each side is a little different than the other so when you rake it you're helping the dry time a little bit but also the appearance. So it looks nice and uniform. It's not exactly 100% necessary, but over the years I find that most people like having the carpet raked out for this very reason. Nolan with Black Diamond Services, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe. If you need your carpets cleaned and you're in the 209 area code in California here, give us a call 209-264-8898. Thank you and have a wonderful day.